Hello, welcome to Nikasaki's channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do makeup tricks and how you can apply makeup without applying too much. First product I use is Marcel Flawless. I just first by start by just putting a little bit and blending it. As you can see, I've gotten Christmas chocolate pimples. It's from eating chocolate every day. <laughs> Somehow I find chocolate is addictive. Once you start, I can't stop. So another part that I like to do is a lot of people that don't is I like to blend it down here and to the sides as well. Pretty much blending as much as you can. When you have something like a pimple, I usually just dot it a little bit more, but not too much. If you put too much, you'll actually uh, make it look more noticeable. Also, I will soon have a video on showing how to completely get rid of blackheads, not falsely, actually removing the blackheads, which is a like six to eight week process. In my next video, I will show um, how to make the cream and how you can do it just at home with organic ingredients. Okay. And just one sec, because I forgot one thing. This one I don't, I usually don't use Maybelline, but it was on sale, <laughs> so it's okay. It's not the greatest. Uh, I'm gonna add a better one. I'm gonna add a better one. I have a cover girl. Huh. Where did I put that brush? I lost my brush. Anyways, well, I guess when you lose a lose the cotton brush like I have just done, you just grab your brush pad. Always put the excess on your back <laughs> and then just add a bit. You now just just a little bit. You don't want to put too much. If you do have dark circles under your eyes, you can use a product uh, that's meant for dark circle under your eyes. Sometimes there's a stick like the cam camouflage stick or there's other one that I have like this as well which will also camouflage um, that's if you haven't gotten enough sleep I guess or you're a bit overtired from working or something and you need it just a little bit and then you blend Again, I'll go to the neck. All right, and before you're done blending, I will first grab my blush, which I will start off. I start off with the CoverGirl, a little bit of a darker blush, not too red. It's like a pink. If you have trouble seeing where your line cheeks are, you can smile, it'll bring it up. Another trick is right here is you can bring just a little up and then just here to add definition and then here. And that's just a, just a tad, just a tad of that color. You don't want to add too much of that. 
The next color I'll use is a bronze or pink, which is very much lighter. And that, I will just kind of bring it up and blend the rest in towards, no. You can even do that, that little on the nose because it helps to um, proportion it, I guess. That. And once you're done, then you grab your blend brush again and I will fully go all the way up into my hairline, all the way to the sides, lifting every part. You want to blend as much as possible. You don't want to have any showing like you have been wearing makeup. That's the point of makeup. Have an illusion like you're not wearing makeup. Because if you wear too much, no good. Okay, blended. Next thing you will do is grab an eyeshadow, and for this one, I'm gonna do a smoky eye shadowy look, which is done with a blue rather than a black. This is for a blue eye look to enhance your blue eye. So if you have blue eyes, this will help you. First, we'll start off with the darker blue cover girl again as well. Oh, that's Elma. Never mind. <laughs> Sometimes I'll use a little bit lighter for corner. All right, now you're gonna take the brown part. That's where you're gonna go into the crease. And don't worry if it's not like too even, like see how it's, I'm just kinda putting it on cause you're gonna blend once again after. As long as it's like somewhat even on both sides. And then I bring it to the base corner in here, outside corner. Really define the inner here. All right, then I'll grab a bit more blue blend here. And here, you just kind of keep adding with both colors and just keep, keep blending. Alright, and then I will grab a tiny brush. Tiny brush, little bit of blue, just here, not all the way up. This, use an excess amount. Okay, and then, just to finish it off, you will grab a creamy white Creamy white, which I'm almost out of. And just blend more again at the top. If you want, you can dab corner here. All right.
next I'll grab I can find the black eyeliner. Everything is black. Black. All right. I think that's black. Blackest. Yep. Yeah. This one is Avon, and I just apply up here all the way into the crease which will help thicken your upper line and help for liquid um, liquid polish. And here as well. You don't want to just get the water line, you want to get the actual line of your eyelash without going too low or else later you won't have any eyeliner. I find Avon works pretty good. Applies nicely though and it's not uh, a pencil sharpener style so you don't ever get those wood pieces in your eyes. Next, I'll grab liquid liner. This one's made by Q. Wipe excess of liquid line liner. And then this one, I will just pull my eye a bit and lower my eye. Added with a cat eye that's not too excessive or big. You can make it as big as you want. Sometimes I'll go all the way up to here. Depends on your day. Maybe where you're at. You always want to make sure you look back and make sure they're even. If one's a little longer, I just fix it. Also, one thing I learned about makeup, no woman can apply any makeup without having their mouth open. It just happened. Mascara especially. You, tr you try it at home and let me know if you, in the comments, if you were able to do it. It's hard to do. <laughs> Next product I'll use after you're done your cat eye look is made by Airbond Mascara. Wipe the excess and always start at the corner. And then wiggle and pull. You wiggle and pull.
Another thing I'll do once it's dry on one side, I will again go more but not fully in just to the ends. It'll help your uh, length and fullness of your eyelashes. You can do this about three times max, I'd say. Okay, final thing that you will do is lips. For this one, I really like Clinique. It's the best one that I've used. It also doesn't leave stains on glasses. It also supports breast cancer when you buy the products, so it is good to buy those products. The color I always choose for me is I choose just the lightest pink because my skin complexion is lighter so you, I wouldn't want to have anything unless you're going out or something you can have a darker look. Some ladies like a darker look. I find I don't pull it off very often. If you see here I have a split lip then I might choose something a little bit more pink to help cover that up. Another trick that you can do if you want to add more of a like a pucker effect into the middle is just grab a little bit of a darker color let's say and just into the middles you'll put just a little washing machine just a little and also uh, to help your cracked dry lips, you can get this product right here. I should be using it more if I don't know where it is. Well, that's a son of a bitch. Where the fuck is it? I got so much crap, I don't know. Ah. Anyways, I guess I'm not finding that. Where the frick did I put it? Anyways, it's a sugar rub. Now I'm just messing up. I'm messing up everything. Anyways, I don't know where I put it. So it's a sugar rub that you just rub on your lids. You can buy it at any store, Walmart, shoppers, wherever. And it works pretty good. Um, my hair, I used to straighten it, but... I don't want to have frizzy hair, so now I'm just letting it grow. <laughs> so far, it's already three feet long. And I haven't dyed my hair in years now. <laughs> Anyways, this concludes our video today. I hope you enjoyed the video on how to do makeup. Soon I'll have another video on how to do smoky eye makeup. This one is more enhanced to make the blue eyes look bluer. Goodbye!